So first of all, with this crazy beauty page on, I feel, I, I really don't know what to do. You know, the main thing, so they has not provided me any information about the accommodations, about anything. Uh, you know, I wrote uh, to my manager about my visa, just to ask her questions about the visa. And she's not responding to me at all. Like, that's so strange, you know. I don't like this way of the organization at all. Um, I remember, you know, I took part in some national beauty pageants here. So three months before, I know accurately where I will go, who will, t uh, who will pick me up, what type of the car, who is the driver, and all, all other information. So when everything is so uncertain, it makes me feel like something is wrong. Something is completely wrong, especially, guys, could you imagine, you know, um, so th this flight is not cheap, you know, like the prices for the flight, just $3,000, you know, but the road to Warsaw for me takes maybe like uh, $500 and back also five. So in general, just the road to Guadalajara will take minimum for me like 4,000 American dollars. Just the road, it's not accommodation, it's not food. It's not the clothes, it's not any further expenses. So that's just the road. It's really the huge budget. And they like not providing any information. And that that's make me feel a bit depressed because, you know, I really prepared, you know, I bought clothes, I just did the shooting, uh, I prepared the speech, you know, and, uh, you know, but everything is so strange, you know, everything is so strange, you know, usually I prefer not to, um, not to talk on my live stream about my business, so especially about some private issues. But it makes me so, so nervous, honestly. I don't like the situation when everything is so uncertain. It's so uncertain, let's be. Thank you, Maxwell. Thank you, Christian. Hello. Hello, guys. I call the president. <laughs> Long morning, friends. Morning to you. On the comments, get on the endeavors. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If they have any problems with their house, you know, they can go to the court, maybe the Royal London Court, so they can um, try to fix fix their problems. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you, friends. So don't forget about the likes. So don't forget about the chatting. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Sometimes you know I'm laughing from the people and their problems. Now I'm really laughing because of all the things. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> Come see me first. <laughs> I never saw any people who felt wrong with my speech. You know, it, it's so funny, you know, like, uh, you know, now, you know, my decision, I'm not reading the comments at all under my video. Because what I realized, so 99.9% .9 of the comments under the video are somehow positive. So the other small percentage of the people, that people who got some negative experience with Ukrainians, not with me personally, but they got some like negative story. And, you know, the other part of the people, uh, they just believe, you know, like, if you are the women, if you are like, uh, if you are the woman, if you are like young enough, uh, so you, you, you don't have any moral permission uh, to say, to say, yeah, about all Ukrainians or to say your personal experience, you know, that means that's forbidden for you. So when you have been 90 or like 60, so then maybe, you know, I will, I will give you permission to open the mouth. So, uh, yeah, it's really funny. So that's the other type of the people. And maybe, um, you know, like my psychologist told me once, you know, there is the only one type and group of the people, the critic from what people you, you should at least listen to. There's the people who are better than you, the, the people who are expert in the same field are that you are actually. So they are better than you and they are expert in the same field they, they you. So and they are not jealous. So that's the smallest and almost like, okay, never, never under my comments. I saw the person 
who is also Ukrainian, who is making the same or at least like close content to me, who, who got more audience than me and who is like, okay, let's say more experienced, let's say better than me in some area, it's not. Okay, so if I will, if, if, if I will see this person, I will be happy to listen her or uh, his critic. So all other people, so they even not worth my time, sorry. Um, <laughs> being dragon, yeah, so that is Chinese New Year, I think soon, or already was the Chinese New Year. Um, thank you, you stress out. <laughs> no, I don't know Spanish, no. What countries it was part of Ukraine? I think so TikTok is generating me the new audience. Uh, Ukraine, so nothing has changed as I was in Ukraine, so still I'm continuing being in Ukraine. So everything is the same. <laughs> everything is the same. Thanks mm -hmm. a lot. What's the job? I'm unemployed right now, so I'm jobless. <laughs> mm. Are Ukraine people for Palestine or Israel? That mostly depends on some personal issues. I couldn't say that Ukraine is safe for uh, for Israel or for Palestine, so we have some co some concrete beliefs. So it's the people who decide on their own for whom they are. Mm, what's your dream job? Mm, you know, I, I truly believe that the dream job is always about something you are talented in. And at the same time, so if you count in the money, and at the same time, if you're not ready to make your job for free. It means uh, that is not your job. <laughs> so today I try not to talk about the politics at all, because yeah, what I realized there are lots of people who are trying to force me uh, to talk about the politics, but actually, yeah, so I'm not today in so good mood, you know, to make all this, uh, all these long, long discussions. <laughs> 